This Shopify store makes over $6 million per month and majority of their revenue comes from reoccurring subscriptions. In today's video, we're doing a breakdown on Nutrafol, an e-commerce business that has completely disrupted the direct-to-consumer hair care space. There's a lot that I want to cover, so let's just get right into it. I put together a full deep dive going over all the learnings and insights that I picked up from Nutrafol's product, website, organic marketing, paid marketing, community building, and more. And I'm going to go over all of it with you guys here, but before I do, Here's more context on Nutrafol. So Nutrafol was founded back in 2016 by Georgios. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I am terrible with names. Uh, Roland Peralta and Dr. Sophia Kogan. And they created Nutrafol in response to their personal struggles with hair loss and their desire to find a natural hair loss solution. Their products use clinically tested and medical grade botanicals and they control the entire production process. Um, Nutrafol's sales strategy from the very beginning has focused on targeting specific channels, beginning with partnerships with medical and hair care professionals, including doctors and hairstylists. Now, this was pretty unique because you don't really hear of any business out there that's taking the time to actually partner with professionals in their space. Yes, you hear about collaborations with different influencers and content creators, but none with really like um, professionals and people that are really known and credible in their category or their space. And so obviously this was pretty unique. Now Nutrafol works with over 4,000 hair care professionals and healthcare professionals to recommend their products and even referring customers to them locally for consultations. This partnership driven approach has allowed the company to build credibility in the market. Currently, 90% of Nutrafol's business is driven through their direct to consumer channels, including their website and Amazon. This direct-to-consumer model has proven to be highly effective with 85 to 90% of online customers subscribing for ongoing treatment, creating a personalized long-term relationship with users. This is also something you rarely hear about. Most businesses have anywhere from like 30 to 40% of their total business coming from reoccurring subscriptions and customers, but Nutrafol has majority of their business every single month coming from reoccurring customers that are subscribed to their products, which is super unique. Now, obviously, uh, Nutrafol has grown tremendously since they got started. And back in May of 2022, Unilever, which is a well-known e-commerce conglomerate, acquired a majority stake in Nutrafol, incorporating the brand into its health and well-being unit. With Unilever support, Nutrafol plans to expand its retail presence selectively while maintaining its premium positioning, offering products through trusted retail partners. And I'm pretty sure fast forward to now, they are in Target and in almost like majority of Sephora's that are out there. And, um, you know, there's a lot of really good insights that are out there for how they built the entire business. I actually um, got a lot of the insights from them and their backstory from a podcast that was shared from the founder, which um, was super interesting. And they had a lot of good things to, that they cover on the podcast. So um, yeah, I wanted to quickly cover that. Now let's get into some more specifics. Now, looking at Nutrafol, um, if you look at last month, August of 2024, they had 1.4 million visitors on their website, up 7% from the previous month. If we look at a breakdown of where majority of their traffic comes from, you can see that um, from all their social traffic, 74% of their social traffic comes from Facebook, 13% from YouTube, 4% from Reddit, 4% from Instagram, and 1.6% from Discord. Looking at their overall monthly search volume, you can see that from 2020 up to date, they have just been on a complete uptrend with the overall search volume that is currently being shown for them on Google. And overall, like, you know, when you look at them from an outside perspective, like this is a tremendous business, right? And they obviously know what they're doing. Now, let's get into some more specifics. So Looking at their products, this is their main flagship product that they started off with. It's a hair growth supplement. They have a version for females and they have a version for males. And again, it's clinically proven for visibly thicker and stronger hair and it's dermatologist recommended. Now, fast forward, they have expanded their product lines onto other products. This is normal. Almost every single business down the road ends up expanding their product line. This typically helps with increasing the average order value and also increasing the customer lifetime value. Now, I took the time to just gather insights on what makes Nutrafol's products stand out compared to the other competitors in their space. 
And these are some of the main key takeaways that I gathered. So first is their products are science backed and they have drug free formulas that they use within their products. Next is they have targeted products for the different demographics that they target. So they have uh, specific products for male and specific products for female. Um, actually, their website is pretty unique. If you look here, when you go on their website, you can see that if you want to look at male products, it completely switches the overall look and feel and also the products that are recommended on the website for men versus the products that are shown for women, right? If you click on women, it shows you different products. Um, next is they take a holistic wellness focus with their products and their overall approach and how they market their products. They obviously have their products marked as clinically proven to get you results. And they have different references like this, for example, that kind of show like, you know, what it looks like before and afters. And they have crazy case studies. I'm actually going to show you guys um, inside of their community and all the different case studies that they have and how they show proof that their products actually work. And uh, last but not least, they take a very personalized approach with their subscriptions and um, how they actually like focus very heavily on you know, getting a customer to subscribe. Their overall business is all tailored towards getting somebody to actually subscribe. They're not optimizing for one-time purchases, which is super unique. So those are some of the main takeaways for their product. Now, moving on to their organic marketing. So one of the first things that stands out to me is their Facebook presence. So first things first, if you look at their Facebook, you can see that they have 96,000 followers on their Facebook page. However, what also stands out is that they have a Facebook group that has 11,000 members. Their Facebook group is called Shed the Silence by Nutrafol. And I actually took the time to join their Facebook group because I was genuinely curious to see how they are able to have a Facebook group with 11,000 people in it and what happens inside of this Facebook group. Scrolling in, you can see that there's many different posts from potential customers as well as existing customers. Anybody can join the Facebook group. What's super interesting and what stands out is that you have literally customers in here sharing their before and afters of them using Nutrafol's products. Like this customer here just recently commented two days ago, eight months after using Nutrafol. You have another customer here that um, is sharing that today is day one on with them using the Nutrafol products and how they hope that the product helps. And so in my opinion, having this Facebook group works really well to attract and convert potential customers, but also to retain customers because now anybody that purchases from Nutrafol or that wants to purchase can come here to this Facebook group and hear from actual real people. Like obviously everybody knows that, you know, they have to take the reviews on a website with a grain of salt. But when you're seeing comments from real people in a Facebook group, that is completely different. And so here you can see different people sharing overall, like different recommendations for um, different things to do with hair care and more. But most importantly, you can see that people that are getting results with their Nutrafol products, they're sharing it here live. So their case studies that they have inside of here is just absolutely crazy. I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, it's just super interesting to see all the case studies that are here. And then also, I think it's just great to see of customers documenting their journey using the Nutrafol products, right? Like, for example, this post here was from a couple of days ago, started today and hoping to have some progress in the coming months, hair loss due to weight loss from Zep Pound, right? And so now people can follow along and see like whether their products actually work or not. And so I think that this is absolutely genius. This is world class. Um, this is something that I'm going to be looking to implement within the e-commerce business that I run. And also for all the other e-commerce businesses that I work with that have a product that's worth having a community around, right? I don't think that this is applicable for all products, but I think that for certain products, it makes sense to do this. And in our day and age where people have options of where they buy from, if you can have a community, this automatically makes you stand out compared to all the other brands that are out there. So I thought that this was super unique when it comes to their um, organic marketing. Obviously, this helps them tremendously, and it makes sense as to why Facebook would be one of their biggest platforms when it comes to paid social or actually, sorry, um, social overall, right? Now, um, moving on, we can see that their Instagram is also pretty big. They've accumulated 347,000 followers on Instagram. 
and they have really good content that they're putting out that's very native to Instagram. That's actually something that you're going to see across all of their social channels. You'll notice that on Facebook, they have content that's native to Facebook uh, and that's tailored to people that are used to consuming more long form content because on Facebook, people do consume more long form content. Going on to Instagram, you can see that, again, you have um, content that's super native to Instagram, right? They're using the Instagram um, overlay text, uh, the captions, et cetera. If you look at TikTok, they're creating content that's super unique to TikTok. You can see that they're using the TikTok captions, the TikTok overlay text, all of that. And so that's something that also stood out when it comes to the organic marketing. Also, you can see that on TikTok, they have accumulated 46,000 followers and they're actively posting on TikTok. And so, um, yeah, overall, those are some of the main kind of key points that I wanted to highlight from their organic marketing efforts. I think that the biggest takeaway from their organic is what they're doing with their community on Facebook. I think that having a community gives you um, massive leverage because now you're giving people another way to engage with the brand, to learn more about the brand and to really get bought into the brand as a whole. And then you also have a way to retain people, right? So I thought that this was a big takeaway. I think that if you run an e-commerce business and you're looking to grow your organic presence, there's a lot of good insights that you can pick up from Nutrafol. But I think that, you know, one of the main takeaways that you should consider if you have a product that's a good fit is building a community just like how they did on Facebook. I went through their Facebook ads library and I took the time to just review all of the different creatives they're running and get familiar with, you know, what they're currently doing for their paid ads on Facebook. And here I have some of the overall insights that I put together. Um, Originally, I was going to go through and like break down a couple of their different creatives, but this video would take a very long time if I did that. And so instead, I just gathered some of the main um, key takeaways that I took away from all the creatives. The first thing that I took away was the wide variety of angles and hooks that they use. So if you go on their Facebook ads library, you're going to notice that if you look at the different angles that they're covering, they cover things like using Nutrafol for postpartum and how there's different benefits that can um, help when, you know, after you actually finish giving birth, if you're a female and all the different, you know, side effects that come with postpartum, Nutrafol is actually positioned here as the solution, right? To kind of help with overall hair care. If we keep scrolling up, you'll notice that they cover things like um, how Nutrafol can help no matter at, no matter your age or what life stage you're in or your lifestyle, right? That's a different angle. Um, if we keep scrolling, you can see how they here they cover and they talk about hair shedding and how this happens, especially in the summer, right? That's a completely different angle. Here they're covering how great hair is possible during menopause, right? And so ideally, they have so many different angles that they're taking. And also, if you look at their videos, they have all these different hooks that really keep you engaged to want to watch the rest of the video in the creative, which is super unique. Next, um, they're pretty big on whitelisting ads. So as I started to engage with the website and I went back on my Facebook and Instagram, I started to get targeted with their ads. So I got to see a wide variety of their ads. But as you can see here, they have ads that are running from these different whitelisting pages, which I thought was super unique. I mean, this is not anything new, but a lot of businesses actually don't take advantage of whitelisting ads. And there's a lot of opportunity there, in my opinion. Uh, next, we have uh, diverse creative types. So if you look at all the creatives that they're running, you can see that they're running a mix of videos. They're running um, static images, right? If you see here, these are all static images and they're also running carousels, right? So they're obviously leveraging all of the different creative types that you can run on Meta. Next is what's super interesting that they do is they actually run ads to incentivize you sharing with friends and families and getting referrals. So if we go back and we scroll up, you'll notice that you'll come across these ads here where they say, hey, $20 off for you and $20 off for anybody that you refer, right? This is probably the first time that I actually see a brand that's actually running ads to incentivize people to refer Nutrafol to their friends and family. I thought that this was pretty unique. Obviously, you know, the best business is business that comes through word of mouth. And so I think it's great that they actually have efforts specifically to get more business that comes from word of mouth, right? Because there's nothing like referrals. The next key highlight that I had here was 
uh, comprehensive targeting and personalization. So like I mentioned, as I started to visit their website, I started to see um, ads for me that were targeted for males specifically, right? So you'll notice that um, they have different ads that they're running for females and they have different ads that they're running for males. So obviously a lot of these ads you see here are for females, but if we scroll up, we can also come across the ads that I got hit with, which are for males specifically. So obviously they have a lot of ads here, but let's see if we can find one for, so yeah, right now I'm not seeing any of the ones that are specifically for males, but I did come across one. Uh, I remember actually I saved it on my phone, but I don't have it here. But uh, overall, I mean, it's it's very evident that even on their website, right, you know, they are completely segmenting their website based on whether you're a, a female looking for female related products or you're a male, right, and you're looking for products that are best for men. So again, their ads are segmented the exact same way. Um, this is actually the founder here. Uh, and the reason why I know is because I, again, I listened into one of his podcasts that he shared the entire story and again, super insightful. Now, uh, going back, um, the last key takeaway that I had is the content that they create, it's really focused on educational and really on empowering whether it's men or women, right? You'll notice that a lot of their ads really focus on educating on the root causes of hair thinning, like hormones or, or, or stress. And these position the brand as a trusted advisor in hair care wellness and empowering consumers with knowledge, not just a product solution. I thought that that was super unique across all their ads. Like you can actually gain insights from, you know, the content that they're sharing and how they highlight themselves as the solution to the problems that you're having when it comes to hair wellness or hair loss specifically. So um, yeah, overall, I think that, that when it comes to their paid media, specifically their paid social, they are absolutely crushing it. And um, these are some of the main kind of key takeaways that I got. I think that if you're running an e-commerce business and you're looking to improve your paid social ads, there's a lot of key takeaways that you can leverage from, um, from Nutrafol. And again, you can leverage some of these same exact key takeaways that I had because a lot of these key takeaways, I'm sharing it with you guys, but these are mainly like things that are for me, right? And internally for the team so that we can leverage it for the e-commerce businesses that we run and also, um, you know, have things that we can constantly test and um, hopefully improve on ourselves, right? And so, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully these insights, you guys can also leverage for your own e-commerce business if you run an e-commerce business yourself. And while we're at it, if you are looking to get help, whether it's with your organic marketing or your paid social ads or your paid search ads, down below this video, there's gonna be actually a link in the description where you can actually book in a call with me and my team and we can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can actually put together an action plan where we can go over where we think you can improve and how we can help you do that. Now, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover when it comes to the paid social ads. Again, I was gonna break down each individual ad and go over some specifics, but again, this video would drag on way too long if I did that. So with that said, let's continue on to paid search. So when it comes to paid search, specifically with Google ads, one of the things that stand out is how much they're actively spending on Google ads. So um, there's a really cool tool that I use to do research on um, the Google ads that are being ran for every single business. And here you can see that Nutrafol right now, they are spending roughly $50,000 per month with their Google ads. In my opinion and in my experience, this is a low ball because every time that I've done a comparison with the numbers that are shown in this tool versus what the numbers actually are, this number is usually drastically lower. So in my opinion, they're easily spending 30 to 40% more of what we're seeing here. So I think realistically, they're probably spending anywhere from like 80 to $100,000 per month with their Google ads. And so with that, there's probably a lot of insights and learnings that we can pick up from them. And so I took the time to do um, a quick breakdown on their Google ads as well. Now, obviously for e-commerce, Google shopping ads are the highest converting and the best performing types of Google ads. And so one of the things that quickly stood out to me from Nutrafol is, when it comes to the Google shopping ads, you can see that their product images, 
right, from their Google Shopping listings automatically stand out way more than any of the images being used by any other competitor, right? You can see that they are strategically putting their product on the right side of the image. And on the left-hand side, they have like an image of the capsules in front. You'll notice that no other competitor has their image in this way, right? And so automatically, these images that they're using automatically makes them stand out compared to everybody else, which gives them an advantage. This typically leads to higher click-through rates, higher conversion rates, and higher ROAS overall. Also, um, one of the things that stands out to me from their Google Shopping ads is the fact that they have an offer that they're including on their ads, right? You'll notice that nobody else is really highlighting any offer in their ads, but they actually are. So um, those are two things that really stood out to me um, for their Google Shopping ads. And the reason why I wanted to emphasize on these specifically is because they may not seem like a big deal, but these things add up, right? Like when the most important variables when it comes to Google Shopping is your product image that you're using on your Google Shopping listing and your product title. Now, when you add in an optimized product image, an optimized product title, an offer, reviews, and all these different variables, like all these things add up and lead to you dominating and getting the best results when it comes to your Google Shopping listings and performance. As you can see here, when I searched up for hair growth supplement, they are currently showing up first in the search results for Google Shopping and also in the search results for Google Search. So um, that brings me to my next point. If you go and you look up things like hair growth products or hair growth supplements or hair growth supplements for women, you'll notice that Nutrafol is completely dominating the search results and they're showing up in first place with their ads. And so these are just a few examples of the different ads that I came across from Nutrafol. Some of the key takeaways here is that a lot of their ads, they really emphasize on science-backed claims. So you'll notice that the ad copy they're using on their Google search ads constantly highlight that Nutrafol is a natural, clinically tested solution, which automatically differentiates them from any other hair loss treatments that might have chemical ingredients. Because there are people out there that are looking for more natural solutions. Uh, next is you'll notice that they're going to have multivariant ad copy different for targeted users. So if you search up hair growth supplements for men, you'll see an ad that's specifically for if for you, if you're a man. If you search up hair growth supplement for women, you can see here this ad specifically says in a clinical study, 84% of women saw less shedding, right? So they're tailoring their ads specifically based on whether you're a male or female searching for their products. And then last but not least, one of the things that stood out to me is the fact that on their ads, they're focusing on conversions through subscriptions. So you'll notice that in some of their ad copy, they are pushing people to sign up for a subscription like right away, right? So if you if I zoom in into here, you can see that um, this ad here says hair growth supplements plus free hair serum equals nourishing your hair from the inside and out. Free hair serum with any three or six month hair growth supplement subscription, right? Which emphasizes the fact that they're pushing on people actually purchasing not only a subscription for one month, but a three month or a six month subscription, which I thought was super unique and stands out because almost every business focuses on just getting someone to subscribe for one month or having an offer for somebody to just simply subscribe once. If you wanted to ever see any of the ads that uh, Nutrafol is running, you can just pop over to the Google Ads uh, library, which is going to be right here, and you can actually see all the ads that they're running. Now, the next ads that I wanted to cover is their YouTube ads, right? So um, one of the first things that stood out to me from their YouTube ads is, again, if you go into their ads library, you can see that they're running a combination of standard YouTube ads, right? That are standard format, that are landscape. And they're also running YouTube Shorts ads. Now, I constantly talk about the opportunity within YouTube Shorts. This is an area where a lot of businesses are not taking advantage of. And it's because it's fairly new, right? It's fairly cutting edge. But I believe that YouTube Shorts is incredibly untapped. And if you're an e-commerce business and you have content that you're already using for Instagram or for TikTok, you can reuse that same content on YouTube Shorts. And you can see that, again, like they're taking advantage of both placement types, which is super unique. Next is 
you'll notice that they're using a um, combination of ads, right? They have um, product focused ads, products that are just kind of showing off demonstrations of the product, right? And then they have more like UGC style ads that are super native to YouTube and just overall, right? I typically see that for a lot of e-commerce businesses, the YouTube ads that work the best are the more um, selfie style videos, like more organic style ads. You don't need like high production style creatives to actually get good results with YouTube, especially not with YouTube shorts. And you'll notice that these videos, like if we play them, they're, they feel very organic, right? This one we can't see. Let me see if I can refresh this, right? So it feels super organic, super authentic. And uh, those are the kind of videos that work best. And so overall, um, for YouTube, you know, they're doing a very similar approach like they're doing on Meta, where their ads are super educational. Um, they highlight different testimonials and um, they really make sure that they take the same science backed approach to hair wellness, the, discussing the root causes of hair thinning, hair thinning, and how Nutrafol provides a solution through natural ingredients. And what also stands out on YouTube is just like on Meta, they highlight the typical journey that both men and women go through when it comes to hair loss, which of course, um, you know, allows them to tailor to both audiences, right? Um, specifically for men, whenever they want to attract men and also women, whenever they want to attract women. So overall, um, those are some of the main highlights. Also, you know, a lot of their content is super engaging, right? They all have a lot of quick cuts and they keep you engaged throughout the entire time. I'm not going to cover each of their individual creatives because if I did, Again, this video would stretch out a lot longer than I wanted than I would want to. But if you guys ever wanted to check out any of their uh, Google ads, right, or their YouTube ads, and you wanted to learn more from them and leverage some of their insights for your business, again, you can just pop over to the ads library here, and you can see all of the ads that they're running, right? Not just their videos. You can see the search ads that they're running, their shopping ads, and you can literally leverage all these insights that I'm sharing with you guys. Um, but for your business, right? So those are some of the main kind of insights that I picked up from them for their Google ads and their YouTube ads. Now let's move on to their email marketing. Now moving on, I'm not going to cover like their full on email marketing strategy. I'm only going to cover how they're acquiring emails in the first place. So one of the things that stands out to me that Nutrafol is doing is their email pop-up is not the usual like, hey, get this 10 or 20% off discount on your order. Their pop-up specifically says, get $10 off your first month, meaning they're pointing you to get a discount on your subscription. They're not, like, they're messaging across the board all over their website. You'll notice that it's all tailored around the subscription aspect to it. Like, and that's how they've just accustomed their potential customers and their customers to just get used to um, buying subscriptions from them, like not just a one-time purchase. And so, I thought that was pretty unique because again, you don't see almost any business highlight their initial offer on their email pop-up for subscriptions. It's almost always for an initial one-time purchase. So I thought that that was pretty unique. Again, if you wanted to learn more about their email marketing, you can go and check out their website, check out their pop-up. You can opt into their email. I typically like to opt in to all the, the brands that I like to learn from and actually um, learn from their email marketing as well. So that's something that you guys can do as well if you wanted to learn more about their email strategy and get a lot more familiar with how they're going about their email marketing. Now that we covered email marketing, let's move on to their offer. So one of the offers that really stood out to me from Nutrafol is one of the main offers that they have on their flagship product. So if you actually go on their website and you look at their product, you'll notice that at the very top, they currently have this offer that's showing. For a limited time, get a free one ounce hair serum $49 in value with your three or six month subscription. So I completely love this approach. Most businesses have an offer that they're running for, again, somebody buying one time or maybe subscribing for one month, right? Like almost majority of businesses, they'll give you like a discount if you subscribe instead of if you just buy it one time, but they're taking a slightly different approach. They're giving you an additional incentive if you subscribe for a longer subscription a three month or a six month subscription, which is worth a lot more to them, right? And so I think that this is absolutely genius because again, this helps with instantly increasing the AOV. 
and the LTV because now you're getting people to subscribe and purchase these longer term subscriptions. So I thought that that was super unique. This is something that I'm now going to be looking to implement for the e-commerce business that I run. And then also for the other e-commerce businesses that I work with that offer subscriptions as well, because this is definitely worth trying out to increase that LTV and also increase that AOV. Now, that's the main thing I wanted to cover for the offer. The next thing I wanted to kind of end off with is their overall website. Now, there's no way that I can cover all of the knit and gritty insights and key takeaways from their websites because they're just doing everything well across their website and their product pages. So I just wanted to kind of focus on some of the main highlights again. So one of the first things that really stood out to me is the personalization and the clarity across their website. So you'll notice that they have a clean design, right? The navigation is super friendly, super easy to use, right? Again, at the very beginning, the first thing that they ask you to choose from is whether you're shopping for women or you're shopping for men. You can easily choose and find products. You can learn more about their approach, the ingredients, and more. Um, you can look at results and proof that their product works. Um, you can instantly get to their Facebook group, right? They link to it right here. And you can also take a quiz to help you figure out which product is best for you. And so overall, like their website is just very well put together, very clean. Um, their, their content looks A1. They have the, the doctors here that kind of establish like this credibility, right? And these are doctors that they work with, which is obviously super unique, right? They really have taken the time to establish these partnerships with these dermatologists, with these hairstylists to really like um, work with them. And uh, obviously I thought that this was also a super unique approach. This obviously helps with really establishing yourself and showing off to your customers that you truly care about the results that they're getting. When I was listening to the podcast from the founder, he really emphasized how like their main focus is making sure that they're helping their customers really get results with their products. And you can see that firsthand, right? Like you don't see most brands partnering with dermatologists, healthcare professionals, hairstylists, and more to help you. Right. And so obviously, um, that was one of the things that really stood out to me from their website. Next is the emphasis that they put on the scientific backing. So obviously they have that plastered all over their website, right? Whenever you look at the homepage, you can see here on their website, they highlight these stats, like 90% of women saw overall improvement in their hair after six months, 84% of women saw less shedding after six months, et cetera, et cetera. So they take the time to highlight all of these across their websites, their product pages, their social media, everywhere, right? They leverage this all the time. Next is their focus on subscriptions. So like I said, they have a big focus on this everywhere, just like with the showing off all the scientific backing and more. Um, they have separate portals for men and women. Like I said, they have a unique interface. Like if I go to shop for men, you can see that it even looks different, right? And the messaging is different. The content is different. The products are different. And obviously, you know, I'm sure that this converts really, really well because it's super specific to men while this portal here is very specific to women. Next is they have a customer centric features, right? So you're going to, you're going to notice that the site includes things like testimonials before and after photos. And they even have a customer support section that highlights their commitment to ongoing consultations and personal care. Like this is something that I've really never seen any other brand do before. Right? So if you go here onto their website, um, scroll down, you'll notice that they have uh, this section here where you can go and find a provider. You can literally find a professional to help you with your hair growth. And they literally have different professionals that they recommend, which is just crazy, right? So that's obviously super unique. Um, you don't really see that being done by almost anybody, right? Or any other business or brand. And so that's obviously huge. Um, when you go on to their product pages, here you can see that you can instantly chat to get additional support. They have these FAQs if you wanted to get uh, additional questions that you have answered right away. And then, of course, you can go here and find additional services that they offer as well, right? Where you can actually work with um, a doctor and they actually walk you through the entire process, right? You start your subscription, you can then book a consultation, and you can then keep in touch and actually work with somebody to really get that hair growth or the overall end results that you're looking for. So they're just taking 
a much further step to make sure that all the customers that they work with actually get the results that they're looking for, which is just massive, right? It makes sense as to why they've been able to grow to where they are now. Um, and last but not least, they have a lot of educational content, right? They prioritize education. They prioritize resources like blogs and FAQs like I just shared. Um, and all of these, they explain how stress, hormones, and your lifestyle, how they impact your overall hair health. And um, they just help their users overall make the best informed decisions. And so overall, these elements make Nutrafol's website stand out uh, as a comprehensive customer-first platform that's designed to just not only sell products, but also provide a holistic solution to hair wellness. And so overall, I thought that their website was very well put together. If you're looking to get insights on how to improve your website, I think that you should take the time to kind of study their website and the ins and outs of their overall layouts, their product pages, and more, right? Because there are is a lot of things that they're doing extremely well. Now, I already covered this, but again, I thought that this was super unique, how they have a specific support section where you can get additional support from a healthcare specialist or a hairstylist with your hair. And, um, you know, just kind of goes to show again how they're going above and beyond to help their customers. So overall, like those are some of the main things that I wanted to cover for Nutrafol. Those are some of the main takeaways that I got across all of their efforts that they're currently taking for their organic marketing, their product, their website, their search marketing, their paid social marketing, and more. And, um, you know, overall for me, again, I took away all these insights and I'm now going to be strategizing on all the different tests that I can run across all these different areas within e-commerce, leveraging the insights that I picked up from Nutrafol. Like, they're obviously a massive business now and they have the budget to test out what things work and what don't. And so, you know, why take the time to go and test out brand new things for yourself where you can leverage insights from things that are obviously already working for brands like this. And so Nutrafol stands out by offering way more than just hair growth supplements. With a science-backed approach, a strong subscription model, and a focus on holistic wellness, Nutrafol has successfully positioned themselves as a leader in the hair health space. Whether through their carefully curated products or access to their hair care professionals or their expansion into global markets, Nutrafol continues to set the standard in the hair care industry, providing long-term solutions tailored to individual needs. I completely love what they stand behind and what they've built. And, um, you know, I'm a big supporter into really building brands that stand behind more than just building products. And so, yeah, I mean, overall, those are some of the main key takeaways that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, if you're looking to get more specific insights on things that I just covered in this video, you can actually find um, more information on this case study video where I shared a breakdown of how we leveraged some of these same insights that I shared from Nutrafol in this breakdown but for another business and how we basically grew that business from zero to over $4 million in one year. And I shared the exact insights and the exact strategies that we use for that business. And also, again, if you're running an e-commerce business and you're looking to get help with anything that I just covered in this video, whether it's paid social, paid search, um, organic marketing, down below this video, there's gonna be a link where you can actually click and book a call with me and my team. And on that call, we can get to know more about you and your business. And after, we can actually discuss a full strategy on how we can help you grow. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate if you dropped a like. If you guys have any questions about anything that I covered in the video, drop it down in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.